So we are asked to find the P1 and V2 and then the power dissipated and then the power supply. Okay. Let's see. Again, this is the circuit. Let's copy and paste this. Copy and paste this so we can calculate them better. It's been put it here. Okay, let's see what can we do from here. Let's set our bottommost node here as our ground. As usual, in the ground, V is equal to O. And then we need to do KVL at this node, right? Let's name this node now A. I mean KCL. So KCL at node A. And I want to assume the direction of the current. So I want all but this current source is going down. So all of this is going down. So the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out according to KCL and the current that goes in is only from this 30 milliampere current source and all the other currents is going out the first one is from this one which is VA divided by 1 plus 3 which is 4 and then the second one is just VA divided by 5 and the third one is just VA divided by 20 so let's do some algebraic manipulation here if we have 30 on the left hand side let's make all the denominator 20 so we will have 5 VA plus 4 VA plus VA divided by 20. So we have 30 is equal to what is this one? 5 plus 5 that is 10. A and this is 20. And solving for all this will have us got VA. VA is equal to what is it? It is 60, right? 64. Oh. Okay. We have VA is equal to 64. So if VA is 64, we can find everything else. So V1 is here. V2 is here. So the easiest thing to do is find V2 because V2 is equal to VA and then V2 is 64. Okay, this is the first one. And then V1 can be found using voltage divider. So we have 3 kilo ohm here and 1 kilo ohm here. So V1 is just 3 divided by 3 plus 1 multiplied by VA. VA is 64. 64. And that means that we have 3 over 4 multiplied by 60. And that means that V1 is equal to 45 volt. 45 volt. So we have answered the question A. So we have answered the question A. And then for the question B, the power dissipated in the 3 kilo ohm. Okay, the power dissipated in the 3 kilo ohm. We know the voltage. So 
remember that P is equal to V multiplied by I but I is just P divided by I right so we'll have P is equal to V squared divided by I and the power dissipated by 3 kilo ohm resistor here will be okay p1 it is 45 square divided by 3 right okay. so uh, Let's do that. That is 45 multiplied by 45 divided by 3. And we have 3 and 15 here. And 45 multiplied by 15. What is it? 40. 45 multiplied by 15 is 670. 675 and because this is kilo so this will be milli and for the power here it is also the same so p2 is p squared so 60 times 60 divided by 20 so we'll have this cancel and then 60 multiplied by 3 is 180. So this is 4. Okay. And then the power supplied by the current source. Okay, the current source have I. The current is 30 milliampere, but the voltage here is the same because all of this is in parallel. So the voltage here is also VA and from there we know that V is equal to V multiplied by I and our voltage will be 60 and then our current will be 30 milliampere so I will have 100 no 1800 and this will be milliwatt and so our Power here will be 1.81, and all of them is the same as the answer given. Okay, okay, let's move on to the next problem. Okay, now we have practice problem 